it's me. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I've never done before and I was trying to think of like new topics to do um, for college videos that I haven't done already. So today I decided to do a whole entire video on college bathrooms which I've mentioned in a previous video and you guys seemed actually kind of interested. So I thought it'd be kind of useful because especially if you're in like a communal style dorm is pretty much what I'm going to be talking about. It definitely could be a little bit new and different for most people. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lauren, I make college videos, and I also make lifestyle videos, haul videos, follow me around, things like that. So definitely subscribe and follow me on my social media sites, which will be over here. And always, anything that I mention in my videos will be linked down below, so if you guys are interested in checking out any of the items that I mentioned in this video, I always have links to products that I personally use. Without further ado, why don't we hop right on into the, the video. The first thing I wanted to talk about was that I was in communal bathrooms so I pretty much had a traditional bathroom where I had tons of dorms that were either double or triple dorms and I shared a bathroom with all the girls on my floor so there was like maybe like 25 to 30 of us something around there but yeah so I had to share bathrooms with all those people so that was interesting. so I had a shower caddy that I used I really personally like the plastic ones um, I found this really cool one on Amazon that I'll link below but um, I used usually use the plastic ones just because even though they are bulkier I feel like they don't get as like mildewy and gross so um, I thought those were good they're really inexpensive if you're looking for a cheaper one and I usually get the shower caddies that have two compartments to them so they have like a little compartment that you can take out for all your face stuff if you're just washing your face and brushing your teeth and it has a bigger compartment for if you're taking a shower and um, things like that so I bring the whole thing when I was taking a shower and the little one when I was just brushing my teeth and taking out my contacts and doing stuff like that. I also think it's really important just like some essentials for your shower caddy is a toothbrush cover just because your toothbrush is going to be just like hanging out and it's kind of gross to have it just like chilling without any toothbrush cover on top of it. Also things like body wash, loofah, shower cap I think is really important if you don't want to wash your hair and just your body one day. Um, razor, uh, shaving cream, contacts, face wash, moisturizer. Next thing I recommend bringing is shower flip-flops. You probably hear this a lot. I literally just get the Old Navy flip-flops. They're really inexpensive and they honestly just do the trick. I know some people like when their shoes have holes in them so then the water drains out. You can like poke holes in your shoes if you want or find ones with holes but I just personally used Old Navy flip-flops. Next I brought a shower wrap and I got mine from Target. They have a lot of cute ones at Target and this is just really easy to bring with you. It just has Velcro on it so you literally just like Velcro it on and off of you and I bring that and a um, towel with me but the shower robe is really nice because you know it's not going to fall off you when you're walking to and from the bathroom so I thought it was just really nice. So it's easy. good to just bring a couple of towels just some face towels and some body towels just because if you're going to wash them I usually wash them like once a week it's good to just have multiple so you can switch them out and you're not without a So towel. if you guys have your own bathroom it's a little bit different you obviously have to get a lot more things for your own bathroom so one thing I like to get is the little racks which I mentioned in my IKEA haul actually that just kind of stick against the wall if you don't have one um, just for towels and stuff I also really like the three tier little um, wheelie racks I put those near my shower and they usually hold me and my roommates stuff which is really nice oh I have a little toothbrush holder and then some soap that's really important as well a little trash can and cleaning supplies since you're gonna be cleaning your own bathroom if you have your own bathroom um, I bring a lot of toilet paper just like a little bath get to put all my stuff in a hand towel shower curtain and the little shower rings for your shower curtain because you definitely need to bring your own shower curtain and stuff so you can kind of make your bathroom look really cute so now I'm gonna get on to some advice so I wrote eight things down that I thought of about my freshman year communal bathroom experience. So number one is that bathrooms are actually not as crowded as you might think they are. So I know a lot of times I personally thought that the bathrooms were extremely, gonna be extremely crowded. Um, people would be taking showers at the same time as me and I was really worried about stuff like that. But honestly, when I was in the bathroom, there was like usually only like two or three other people with me at the busiest time, which is like before bed. But usually throughout the day, there was like usually no one in the bathroom. In the showers, I only had like two incidences the whole entire year where all three of my showers were taken. 
so that definitely was not an issue there was also like three or four sinks and i never had an issue where i couldn't get a sink to like wash my face and stuff because everyone showers at different times and everyone does things at different times number two is that i remember there was always so much hair in the drain yeah but i remember our biggest issue with like if something was dirty or whatever was usually hair in the drains of like the bathrooms and then like the water would like not properly drain and stuff so just like be courteous if you like you know if you're like hair like you shed a lot or something like that like you have a lot of hair like just clean up after yourself because that's what ends up just making the whole entire experience so much better have people cleaning your bathroom for you which is really really nice so um there was someone who came in every single morning and cleaned our bathroom for us so that's the one good thing about having a communal bathroom is you don't personally have to clean your bathroom yourself so that was really nice and i would replace the soap and replace like toilet paper and number stuff. four is like I mentioned before just clean up after yourself with anything like if it's the hair or if you make a mess just clean up after yourself because if everyone does that it's just gonna make the bathroom experience so much easier number five is to tell your RA something if let's say like you know something's wrong in the bathroom um maybe there's like something broke or whatever or like the hair incident Usually the RA will like do a floor meeting and like address it or she'll fix it or he'll fix it and it just makes life a lot easier if you just go to your RA about that stuff. I remember my RA had a little meeting about the hair thing and it kind of stopped a little more after she addressed it. Number six is small talk is such a thing in communal bathrooms. Usually you small talk with people when you're like, you know, washing your face or brushing your teeth. It usually happens a lot so that's one thing that definitely I know some people like, most people don't like. Um, but there is that like little small talk interaction that I always have. Number seven is to just be cautious of volume. So like I personally sometimes would bring my speaker in the bathroom and like play music, but I would only do that like during the day. I wouldn't do that like late at night or I wouldn't blow dry my hair like really, really late at night or like super early in the morning. Like sometimes you'd need to and like it's a little annoying because the sound travels very easily in bathrooms and stuff um, to the dorms. I could hear all that stuff. So it definitely could get annoying, but usually it was pretty good. I didn't have that many issues. Number with eight it. is to wear the shower shoes. Honestly, you're sharing the shower with so many different people and it can get really gross. So always wear shower shoes because you just never know what's on the shower floors. So overall, my communal bathroom experience was not that bad. Alrighty guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave those down below because I definitely didn't cover everyone's questions in this video, um, but I will get back to you and answer any questions you have. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.